human-used antibiotics pollute rivers all over the world. Remains of antibiotics consumed by humans are present rivers around the world. Canadian scientists estimate that every year, after passage through the human body and sewage treatment plants, to river systems approximately 8,500 tons of drug residues hit, which may pose a risk to the environment and human health. After ingestion by humans and partial metabolism, antibiotic residues are excreted and pass through purification systems, which do not fully deal with them. As a result, they go to natural the river systems. Millions of miles of rivers around the world carry antibiotic pollution at a high enough level to promote drug resistance and harm to water life, according to researchers from McGill University. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal PNAS The Nexus. The presence of antibiotics in surface waters creates risk to aquatic ecosystems and human health due to their toxicity and the impact on the development of antimicrobial resistance by the pathogens. In their work, researchers estimated that annual global consumption 40 the most commonly used antibiotics are 29,200 tons. Nearly 30% of this, approximately 8,500 tons of antibiotic residues go to river systems even after passing through sewage treatment plants, and 11%, i.e. about 3,300 tons it goes to the oceans. Residues of individual antibiotics translate at very low concentrations in most rivers, which makes them very difficult to detect, but chronic and cumulative environmental exposure for these substances, it can pose a risk to human health and aquatic ecosystems Heloisa Ihalt Macedo of McGill University, lead author of the study, said. The research team used a global verified model off-road data from nearly 900 rivers. Scientists have found that amoxicillin, the most commonly used antibiotic in the world is most often detected in hazardous concentrations, especially in Southeast Asia, where intense consumption and limited wastewater treatment exacerbate the problem. This study is not intended to warn against the use of antibiotics. We need antibiotics to treat health but our results indicate that unintended environmental effects may occur aqueous and antibiotic resistance, which requires a better strategy of mitigation and management to avoid or reduce these effects," said Bernhard Lehner of McGill University, co-author of the study. Importantly, a team of scientists did not take into account in their work antibiotics from animal husbandry or enterprises pharmaceutical, which contributes heavily to contamination the environment. Our results show that river pollution antibiotics derived exclusively from human consumption is a matter critical that would probably be exacerbated by sources of relationships related in veterinary or industry. Therefore, programs are needed monitoring to detect waterway contamination with antibiotics or other chemicals, especially in areas that we believe the model is at risk," said Jim Nicell of McGill University, CEO author the publication. We estimate that 6 million km of rivers around the world are exposed to high concentrations of antibiotics exceeding thresholds that protect ecosystems and promote resistance under low water flow conditions, with the dominant factors are amoxicillin, ceftriaxone, and crisxeme, they wrote. The researchers in the publication Global consumption of antibiotics has skyrocketed in over the last 15 years and continues to grow, especially in low and low countries average income which requires new strategies to protect water quality and health and ecosystems, they added.